हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आय एम पूनम घारगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऐट कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बारामती इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कन्वेन्शनल ब्रीडिंग मेथड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द प्लान ब्रीडिंग इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड वेरियस ऑब्जेक्टिव्स सो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ activities in plant breeding so what kind of activities are carried out in plant breeding so first or major activity is the creation of variation so variation means it is a difference among individuals of a population or species for a specific character or trait so genetic variation is the source of raw material for a selection so this kind of genetic variation are heritable in nature and they are transmitted from one generation to the another generation and having such a generation is a very very useful in selection so the success of breeding program is usually depend on the desired genetic variation and that we can create by two ways so sometimes in nature already such type of genetic variation is present so in the form of domestication if we domesticate the uh, wild species or wild relative we start their cultivation we you will get a variation then through germplasm collection you, if you are having a from different location if you are going to collect the germplasm so germplasm is nothing but it is the sum total of all genes which is present in that population so through germplasm collection we can grab that already existing variation and through plant introduction so just transfer of the this genetic material from one location to another location where it is never grown before so we can use that genetic variability or variation which is already present in nature or we can go for a creation of a new variability by means of hybridization so by crossing two different plants or population having a different genetic constitution then by mutation breeding polyploidy breeding somaclonal variation and genetic engineering we can create a new variation and once this so this is a first step that is the creation of variation so once you are having a variation we can move on a next step that is the selection so during this selection the individual plant or a group of plants which is having this desirable genetic character are selected or they are picked up from a whole population eliminating the undesirable one and such a selected plant is again uh, we are raising in the next year and again and again we are repeating the same procedure that is selection of a desirable character plants after that the third step in the plant breeding is the evaluation so the newly selected lines they are tested for yield and other traits and their performance is going to be compared with the best uh, existing varieties so those best existing varieties are called as a checks so these new lines we are comparing with that check varieties and those are having a superior performance to the check variety they are released and notified as a new variety the next step is a multiplication so large scale uh, certified seed are produced production will be undertaken here and they are released as a notified variety and the last step is the distribution so certified seed which is ultimately sold to the farmer who use it for a commercial crop cultivation so plant breeding involves five major activities that is first one is a creation of variation then second one is a selection evaluation multiplication and distribution got it then next one is methods 
so there are various approaches such as a selection hybridization and mutation we are having that is used for genetic improvement so genetic improvement means we are changing the character we are making a improvement in the genetic constitution so those approaches are called as a plant breeding methods through which we can improve the genetic constitution of our crop species or population so there are various methods plant breeding methods we are having but the choice of this breeding method is depend on this four factors so four points so we have to consider the mode of pollination so you know that there are two major groups that is self pollinated crops and cross pollinated crops so before choosing any breeding method we have to consider does that plant is self pollinated one or cross pollinated one then we also have to consider the mode of reproduction does that crop is seed propagated one or vegetatively propagated one then third thing we have to consider the gene action so mainly gene action is of three types additive gene action dominant gene action and epistasis type of gene action and also you have to consider the breeding objective for which breeding objective you want to uh, breed the cultivar so it may be a higher yield resistance quality etc etc so on this four point you are deciding from all these breeding methods which breeding method is useful okay so breeding method again is of two types we are having a conventional breeding method so that is called as a traditional breeding methods or a classical breeding methods which is involve a crossing between a closely related individuals they will involve a crossing between closely related one or interbreeding okay and after that they are following the selection among these progenies while non conventional breeding method it involve a wide crosses as well as a new approaches such as uh, genetic engineering transgenic breeding etc etc so conventional breeding method is again divided into three types that is general breeding method second one is a special breeding method and third one is a population improvement approaches so in general so general means these are the breeding methods which is more commonly used for development of new variety okay so those breeding methods which is used more commonly for genetic improvement of various crop plant are known as a general methods which includes then introduction plant introduction selection in that we are having a pure line selection mass selection progeny selection and clonal selection then pedigree method bulk method back cross method single seed descent method heterosis breeding synthetic and composite then second group we are having that is the special method so those are the breeding methods or procedure they are used very rarely or their use is very rare for improvement of crop plant such a methods are called as a special methods it includes mutation breeding polyploidy breeding transgenic breeding and molecular breeding then third group we are having that is the population improvement approaches okay so population improvement methods means these are the methods which is used to make improvement in already existing varieties so whatever varieties you have we want to make improvement in those existing varieties so such a methods are called as a population improvement approaches so it includes recurrent selection disruptive mating di allele selective mating and biparental mating so as per the 
mode of pollination these breeding methods are divided into three groups that is self pollinate methods which is used in self pollinated crop breeding methods which are used in cross pollinated crop and the methods which is used in asexually propagated species so here i have gave you a list of methods which is used in the self pollinated crop such as plant introduction pure line mass pedigree bulk single seed descent back cross heterosis mutation polyploidy then distant hybridization transgenic breeding so this group of uh, breeding approaches are used for breeding a new cultivar in autogamous or self pollinated crop then again plant introduction mass and progeny selection back cross method heterosis synthetic composite polyploidy breeding distant hybridization transgenic breeding mutation breeding recurrent selection then disruptive mating and biparental mating so these are the breeding approaches which is used in the cross pollinated crop for genetic improvement while plant introduction clonal selection mass selection heterosis breeding mutation breeding polyploidy breeding distant hybridization and transgenic breeding is used in a sexually propagated plant out of that mass selection is rarely used in a sexually propagated species so first of all we are going to start with a first breeding method that is the plant introduction